a whole lot of cars. Then again, we are between semesters, now that I think of it. Awesome. If any of you have stayed here before, let me know. Let me know what your experience was like. I've never lived in the dorms at C or at uh, HSU, but I did at CR, and these ones are quite a bit different than the ones at CR. If you haven't already watched the other video I did on the uh, dorms on the north side of campus, I'll post a link to that video as well. I'm thinking you could probably squeeze in uh, 250, 300 students in this building here. All right, let's go take a walk, get some close-ups, guys. This is a nice touch. I love gazebos. One day when I have my own house, my own property, definitely going to have one built on there for sure. This is very nice. Just a short walk to the J, the Flying J, the little market there on campus. And then if you want to head into town, you take this path, cross the overpass there, and you are there. Let's get some exercise. Yeah, these dorms look a lot older than the first set that I filmed. That was a few months ago now. The bunks are pretty much the same as they are at CR. Kind of standard, big wooden bunks. Little bathroom tucked away in the very back. Here's another look at one of the empty rooms. look like this brings you to the other side of campus that stairwell let's find out wow yeah it looks like it I want to keep going up so we can enjoy that view a little bit Now, it does appear there are some students living in these, so I'm going to be careful about which ones I look into. Only the ones that are, like, open and obviously empty are the ones I'll film, but... We'll go up one more. Or at least to the very top of it. Wow. 
This one almost looks like a little hotel room. Oh, I just hit a spider web. Ugh. These, these ones look a little worse for wear. Look at this one, the screen popped out on this one. Even the boards are kind of creaky and loose. I do not like this. <laughs> oh, thank God, a stairwell. I don't think it'll go any further. Yeah, this is the third level. Got a sweet little view up here, that's for sure. Go a little further this way. Check out the view from this side of the building. Honestly, I don't know if I'd like to residency in one of these rooms up here it's just for one not a big fan of heights I'm sure the view is nice to, to get used to and stuff but it seems like a lot of work <laughs> we've got some pretty sweet views of the back of the campus here See if this uh, swings back around. I think the stairwell is actually going to be on our left here. That's crazy that, like, I'm just a short distance away over on this side. You're like way the heck up there. And then you go over to this side here and you're pretty much at ground level. That just shows you like the, uh, the area that the, sh the campus was built on, this, on this big kind of incline. Okay. I think we've pretty much seen it all. I wonder what it cost to live in the dorms. Because I know a lot of people are saying it's like a lot cheaper than like getting an apartment, but still more expensive than like sharing an apartment or getting a house with somebody or a couple roommates. This must be one of the residential assistants here. Oh, this is a lounge, okay. <laughs> it's my kind of poster right there. Okay, well, I think we we'll probably wrap things up a little bit here. Let's take this stairwell down.
basically there. Oh, I was gonna like take that. I thought that went down, but I guess it doesn't. Okay, I see, it's just right there. That's, that's our exit. Well, I think that'll wrap it up. Thanks for joining me, everybody. This has been a fun little adventure. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you soon.